that's how much fits in here um, without a purse organizer. So let's go ahead and take the water bottle out. Hi there, I'm Annie. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay and an avid thrifter and advocate for sustainable fashion. I have a soft spot for luxury and I love mixing thrifty clothes with luxury and designer items. If this sounds up your alley, please like and subscribe and join me in my thrifting adventures to see what I style or resell for profit. Hey everyone, it's Annie with the Flex and Step. If you are a new viewer, thank you for stopping by. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you mwah, 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 for your support. I appreciate your comments and just, you know, your continuous support of this channel. And also a shout out to my new subscribers. I'm so happy to have you. I've spoken to a few of you, so thank you so much for uh, joining us in this little, little family of Thrift Flex and Stuff. So today, you guys, we have a bad review. And today we are going to review the Papillon 30. Now, I don't wear this bag a whole lot, but I absolutely love it. And every time I break it out, I just feel like I walk a little bit taller. It just feels so chic. And I think maybe that has a little bit of influence because of um, Tweety, who totally rocked this on the cover of Vogue in 1966. But before we get into too much details with the history of this bag and my personal review of it, let's do a quick outfit of the day. Okay, so today I am wearing um, a thrifted top, and I love this top. Um, it just has a little bit of a romantic feel to it, and I think these earrings are thrifted, but I don't remember for sure, but they're little um, little roses. And then my jeans are thrifted, and these are by Boston Proper, and then I don't know if you'll be able to see my shoes, <laughs> but my boots are thrifted. And they are from Ann Taylor. Um, I think just Ann Taylor, not Ann Taylor Loft. So that is the thrifted outfit of the day. Okay, so back to the Papillon. So this is my Papillon 30 and or Papillon. Okay, I'm gonna mess that up throughout the video. So just be patient with me. Uh, but this is the Papillon 30 and I actually have it in here um, when I purchased mine. So let me just look that up for you guys really quickly. Um, I got mine in April of 2018 and I paid $574 for it. Now, I did look on Fashion File and you guys can still purchase this bag today and it is between the $600 range up to a thousand. And I just absolutely love it. Um, it's one of those bags where when I carry it, I just feel a little bit taller and chic. And I think that has a little bit to do with maybe because it was uh, fashioned by Twiggy. So, I'll give you a little bit of history about that. Um, so the bag actually launched in 1966, and the bag was designed by Louis Vuitton um, with delicate curves. Don't you love that? Delicate curves. And the bag came with two straps that were also designed to be like delicate wings. Thus, why it earned the name the Papillon, because Papillon means butterfly in French. So Twiggy uh, was the first to actually be photographed with this bag on the cover of Vogue. But this, oh, okay, so this is also a really cool part. So Miss Jane Birkin, um, she also adopted the bag and fell in love with it. So if you're a big Jane Birkin fan and you like the Birkin um, bag and you can't afford one, well, get yourself a Papillon because Jane liked it. So, you know, if that's the closest you get to the real Birkin, hey, it works, right? <laughs> Um, okay, so then in 2002, uh, the bag made its first um, debut in satin with natural cowhide leather handles. Then in 2003, it came covered in flowers in a collaboration with Takashi Murakami. And I think we all know that as the, bl uh, the cherry blossom bag. Now, fast forward, and in 2012, uh, the Papillon did make a reprise with Marc Jacob, and that was in the Neo uh, Papillon in Monogram. So it has quite a history and um, pretty cool. I have to say, I have absolutely loved it, and just learning more about its history makes me love it that much more. So let's go ahead and get into what fits inside. So. First, actually, before we go even to what fits inside, I want to show you the interior, but you can kind of see already, this is what I have in it from what I was carrying today. So for the interior, um, it comes in this beautiful, beautiful 
red leather interior. And it can start to um, get darker red. My understanding is that it becomes a darker red over time from wear and tear or just from things that you carry inside. And then this is um, the little labeling that it will come with so you can know where yours is made from. Now, <laughs> oh my God, you guys. If you want to find the date code on this bag, it is torture. It is so hard. Um, I am not going to be able to show it to you live, but I took a picture for you. But basically, you have the side where the D-ring is on, and it's not on the side of the D-ring. It's on the other side. And then if you're facing the bag, it's on the left. So it's on that little corner right here. And it is so hard to find. Like, you feel like you're going to tear the stitches out of your bag, right? Because of how hard you have to, like, reach for that thing. So I don't know why they do that. But I was having a heart attack when I couldn't find it because I was thinking, oh, my God, you know, like, why doesn't my bag have a date code? Um, but, you know, I did take this um, into the Louis Vuitton store to get it authenticated because I did purchase it from a Japan reseller. So I did get it pre-loved. And I'll include the, um, the reseller below. Absolutely love this. Um, what what it uh, what it has also is let's see here. So it has just a normal small little zipper, and it zips really really well. It has the classic Louis Vuitton zip, like back and forth. Right, love that. And the thing that I think made me kind of like unsure about it when I first got it was the hardware, because the hardware kind of felt a little plastic like. And that's why I wanted to get mine authenticated right away. But um, that's just the way it is. And the, uh, the hardware can, can tarnish over time. Now, mine hasn't really, as you can tell. It's actually stayed in really good shape. But I don't wear it a lot. Um, one YouTuber did do a really good video of hers. And she talks about the little mini inside. And so I'm going to show you the mini here really quickly. And the mini can sometimes tarnish right here, or at least hers did. So this piece right here for her tarnished a little bit um, between the hook and the little D-ring. And mine actually hasn't shown any of the silver tarnishing yet. So I've been pretty lucky so far there. And it also has the little little matching zipper and this is so cute if you just wanted to like give this to a little girl to wear which I know is kind of popular or a little boy just for your little one um, or you can wear it yourself you know if you're just going for a little evening out <laughs> um, I personally haven't done that but it is pretty cool now on the inside it looks the same and of course this is all my stuff in on the in there but it has the same beautiful um, red interior right here and I'm getting used to this camera so if I'm out of frame a little bit, my apologies. I'm still getting used to it, you guys. Uh, so yeah, same beautiful red interior in the little one. And what it just fits perfectly in there with all your things. Now, what do I keep in here? So let's start with this guy. So with the little guy, I keep for myself, first of all, I always keep a sticky of when I purchased it and how much I paid in case I ever want to resell it. I don't think I'm ever going to resell this. Um, I have my lipstick. I have my chapstick. And then I just have re-wetting drops for my contacts because Lord knows it is dry in Colorado. So here's what it looks like completely empty for you guys in case you're curious. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. I love this. Isn't it pretty, that red? I just can't. I love the red and even, like, the rose pink, kind of like what I'm wearing today, I think looks so pretty against this pattern. So that is the inside of this little guy. And what I carry inside mine today is I have my coin purse and I have my um, my little uh, key clay with all of my cards. And then I have my hand sanitizer and my mask and my tissue paper. Now that is without a purse organizer. And I do have a purse organizer, so I'll show you that really quickly. But without a purse organizer, let's see how much you can put in here. So let me go ahead and put this back in the way it's supposed to really quickly. Okay, so I have this back in with nothing in it, just the little mini me. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in the coin purse. And we're going to put in um, Kleenex and a hand mask. And then, <laughs> all the noise, sorry about that. Then we're gonna put in um, hand sanitizer 
and the key clay. We're gonna put in a phone. We're gonna put in a wallet. We're gonna put in glasses because sometimes my contacts are bugging me. And then we're gonna put in a water bottle because you know your girl in Colorado needs to have a water bottle. Now, let me play a little bit of church, or church. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking church, maybe because I'm saying her that this all fits in here. Okay, just a second. I think we can get this to fit, but you can tell right away. It doesn't like fit, I think, totally naturally, right? Like you gotta, you gotta work for it just a little bit. Okay, so, yeah, okay. I think I can get that to fit better though. Let's see. Just a sec, let's see. Okay, so here's the trick. It fits better if you put this in last. And of course, mind you, this is not very full. So if you had a lot in the little mini, it might be harder. But it does seem to fit a little bit better um, like that. So it is a little bit of a harder zip, and I don't want to force it. But um, I think if I were to play with it a little more, I can get it to zip so I don't feel like I have to force it or anything. Now, this is pretty heavy, you guys. Um, Realistically, I wouldn't put that much in here because, wow, I mean, unless you want to get a bicep workout, that's a lot of work. So that's how much fits in here um, without a purse organizer. So let's go ahead and take the water bottle out. Oops. Okay, so this is um, a purse organizer that I got by Samorga. Um, we all know and love them. <laughs> so uh, I think it was, this was a a purchase, a YouTube influence purchase. I believe it was uh, me and Mr. Vuitton that purchased it. And um, I'll put a link to her channel below if you're interested in it. But I really thought, oh, what a great idea to protect that interior. So you can kind of see here, what not it it's so pretty? It really actually matches really well. So you can kind of get a better look between, the original has a little bit of an orangey red, and then you have the nice, um, Smorga interior bag and it comes with some slots um, for some like on the side I should have shown you guys that so it comes with little slots here for your, like, your cards and it has that on the other side too so I like it because with just the mini me in there and nothing else I feel like the purse organizer really kind of helps keep the bag and helps it hold its shape um, I just really like that so let's go ahead and see now how much can we fit in here? So if we go with what I was wearing or what I was um, putting in my purse today, which was just my phone and my mask and um, the coin purse, this is what it looks like. So I have to tell you, um, it doesn't really organize. <laughs> <laughs> like you kind of still have a little bit of a, a bucket mess, if you will, if you want to think of it that way. I think the only thing it helps is really to protect the interior so that you don't have to worry about things spilling. And it also um, kind of gives it shape. Maybe if you like to put, you know, if you didn't want to carry like one of these, you could put all your cards in here in the little slide slots. But in terms of like the review of the purse organizer, I don't think it's doing much for you in terms of... Um, organizing your things and it's definitely taking away space so with all of that in here let's go ahead and put everything else in here why, why don't we so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out because I think it helps to put that on top so we'll take a wallet and we'll take this is where it's tricky I think taking this and I purposely got like an obnoxious sized um, Jimmy Choo uh, glasses case because it's just obnoxious and big so if we take that and then we put in the water bottle which I feel like it's kind of spilling some water here but that's okay okay now we have to put this guy on top yeah it's I in my opinion I think it's too much I mean it doesn't really, you know, it's full. <laughs> it's totally maxed out and full. Um, so I think you would have to choose between the water bottle and the purse case, or the glasses case, yeah. Because see, now you can shed it a lot easier in this little guy's wants to poke out. 
you can see you can shed it a lot easier. So let's see what this looks like. So I'll give you guys some body shots. Now I like to wear it um, on the crook of my arm. You could wear it this way. Um, I mean, you know, if it fits that way for you, I think it's kind of funny because you are kind of pushing in on the bag, but you could do that. I think if you needed to be like totally, you know, hands free or whatever. Um, I don't really do that though. I usually either wear it like this or I wear it just this way. And I'll show you what that looks like. So here is um, a front view, just wearing it on your side. You can kind of get a side view like so. And then um, in the back, and I just love it. Like when I wear it this way, I just feel like, like I said, just feel like I'm swinging it and just feeling like excited and happy. I like this bag. <laughs> and then um, if you want to, you can wear it on the crook of your arm. So this is what it looks like when you wear it on the crook of your arm and the side view. <clears throat> and then of course in the back. And so this is um, how I was wearing it a lot today actually when I was running some errands and doing some shopping. Oh, do you guys want to see what it looks like on your shoulder? Okay, so if you did wear it on your shoulder, <laughs> I don't know, if it's helpful, I'll do it. So this is what it looks like from the front if you were to wear it on your shoulder. And then this is what it would look like from the side. And then this is what it would look like from the back. So, you know, if you're that girl too, um, it's an option. Like I said, it's just not my preferred way of wearing it. Now, um, the size dimensions for this guy um, are like six this way tall and 12 inches this way. Now, if you have a Speedy, um, it, it, in comparison to the Speedy 30, so this is the Papillon 30, here is a Speedy 30 for comparison. Now, what I hold in here, I don't think is gonna fit in here. I mean, you really can just sort of tell, right, from the sides, one is much taller. Um, lengthwise, I think, I wanna say, this is longer, I don't remember. I'll put the dimensions up and we can do a comparison. But for sure, you're not gonna be able to carry what I carry in here, in here. And I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean. Like, for example, inside my Speedy, um, besides the stuffing, I actually take this to the movies. This is my movie bag because I'm so cold in the movies that I always wear this blanket. And that is all I have inside here is my blanket. Now, would I be able to fit this blanket inside of here? Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of curious, and this video is kind of getting long, but I'm kind of personally curious. So um, I'm just gonna show you really quickly and we'll find out together. <laughs> Okay, so here it is all nice and rolled like a Tootsie Roll. And I mean, if you really wanted to, you could, but yeah, no, it, you have to work for it. And I don't wanna, I wouldn't wanna do that. I think that's part of what, you know, ruins your bags if you kind of force it, like you gotta work with them, you know? And this little lady is saying, no, don't bust my stitches. <laughs> so um, that is a negative Ghost Rider. You wouldn't want to put a full um, little blanket inside your Papillon 30 from the movies. But in a nutshell, she is, I think, one of my proudest possessions. Um, Ryan likes to call her the sausage. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to stick to butterfly. <laughs> but she has just been... I think a wonderful bag. Um, I like I said, nobody really, well, nobody in my area I see carries this a lot, so it makes me feel good to spend these prices and know that not everybody's carrying it. You know, like that's a fun feeling um, because it's just not as common, at least in where I'm living. Um, I also see it in the monogram a lot. I don't see people carrying this in the beam, so I think that's another reason why. Um, I like it. So um, yeah, if you're interested in, check out Fashion File. Get yourself one of the Papillon 30s. You won't regret it. Um, it's been an awesome bag. Alrighty. Thank you guys so much. If you like this review and you want more, just give it a thumbs up and tell me. And if there's any critiques that you have or stuff that you're like, eh, that's too much. I don't need to know that. Let me know because I'm doing this for you. So I want to make sure I'm giving you all the stuff that is most helpful for you when you're making your purchases and doing your research. Alrighty, you guys, until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.